Hello everyone, thanks for watching. You might notice that this is not my normal um, Ask Away with Ashley K setup. And that's because this week's video is brought to you by my childhood bedroom. It's a little weird for me because it's like half my childhood bedroom, like these are all my items. But also when I moved out, my brother took my room because it's bigger. So there's also like a Call of Duty poster on the wall. So it's like a little... Weird, because it is my room, my old things, but not fully my room, so I'm just like, what? A lot of you have been asking, Ashley, like, why didn't you film a video? It's been, like, two weeks. Like, why? What's wrong with you? You're falling off your game. We're never going to watch your YouTube channel again. Just kidding. No one said that. But I just had some health concerns, so I was really stressed out for a second. I was really worried about some things, but all is good. Don't worry. Christmas is super soon, that's why I'm in Morgantown, West Virginia, and that's why I'm wearing ginger socks, gingerbread socks. These are not, um, these are gingerbread men, these are not, uh, gingers. What I'm going to be talking about today is inspired by being in my childhood bedroom and being back in my hometown. We're going to talk about how to stop talking about the past. So I was in town, like, for one whole day and I was hanging out with my friend and she said oh my gosh this person said this about you blah 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 and this is me what I haven't talked to that person in five years literally five years this struck me as odd because you know when me and that person ended our friendship I did talk about it like I was I was like a little bit private because I like, you know you don't want everybody knowing everything about you I did talk about it with some people that I trusted like my parents my close friends mutual friends we had that you know everybody gets different sides of the same story so I talked about it a little bit and but I stopped talking about it a long time ago which is normal I think so here are some steps if you find yourself constantly talking about things from the past and you want to move past that. Step number one. You may have heard this if you've ever attended church with your grandma, but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, which is like a proverb maybe. It's somewhere in the Bible, but also it's something that people just say. And it just means like what you fill your heart with is what you talk about. So if you fill your heart with like negative things and you let other people suck your energy all the time, you're going to be talking about those people. If you, you fill your heart with something that makes you happy, something that is in your, you know, current situation, you're not going to be talking about things that happened years ago that really no one cares about anymore. Is fill your heart with positive and current things. Step number two, ask the friend who you like vent to the most. Hey, like, do I talk about this a lot? I remember when I had to do that to my best friend. I was like, hey, like, Katie, do I, do you think I obsess over this? Do you think I talk about this a lot? And she was like, mm, kind of. So if you have a friend that you trust, ask them their honest opinion. And even if it takes them like a millisecond to think about it, be like, mm, no, assume that they mean yes. Step number three, start talking about things in the future. So only talk about things that are kind of happening right now and then things that you want to happen. Because if you're constantly talking about like what's way, way back there you're not going to be focusing on the future you're going to be stuck in the past which nobody wants to be even if you're still living in you know your small town or your hometown you don't want to be stuck on like what you did in high school you just don't you don't want to be stuck in that step number four which will probably be in every video i ever make ever because it's so helpful get a journal and write to yourself privately if you really need to talk about this if you really need to go over it all the time get a journal and just talk to yourself not out loud because it might be a little bit crazy to do that I don't know I do it all the time but get a journal and just let yourself let loose step number six monitor your thoughts when you are talking to a friend or in a discussion and they bring up something and you have something similar that happened to you in the past think okay, is this relevant? And then also think, should I say this? So when you're monitoring your thoughts, it just makes you more like cognizant of everything you're about to say. And it's really, it's really helpful. You should do it all the time. I try, but nobody's perfect. But when you're monitoring your thoughts, you're not going to be kind of bringing up the same subjects over and over again. And you're going to be aware of what you're saying more. And you're going to feel like, oh, I'm not talking about the same things that everybody's tired of hearing. You're going to be talking about new ideas. 
And there was also a quote that I heard somewhere that said, um, like, small minds talk about people and big minds talk about ideas. So tuck that away in your back pocket. Step seven, and this is something you can do if you can afford it, but you can always have, like, a friend session, therapy session. But see a therapist. If you feel like you're hung up on something that's, like, just, just super old, super old news. Like, you don't even see that person. You don't talk to that person anymore. Like, I was shocked when I heard this person was talking about me because I've we've literally not talked in literally five years. You might want to consider seeing a therapist. Like, at, at what point is this an obsessive behavior? And finally, let it go. Make new memories. If you're talking about something that happened in the past because it was bad, um, you do have to acknowledge those things and you have to grow and move on from those things, but make new memories. Let it go. Forgive the person if that's what you need to do. That's what I've done and just move on. There's a lot more happiness in what's to come than looking at what happened. You know, you're never going to be happy if you're always looking back and obsessing over, well, this person did me wrong or this didn't work out or something like that. So just let it go and be happy with what you have now, which is probably pretty good if you look at it, and be happy that you have a whole future that you don't know what's going to happen yet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my Christmas sweater, tell me so because I'll feel so good about myself. I'm going to be making a collab video with my friend Micah Beachy, and she does beauty, so seriously, in the next video, I'm going to be looking so beautiful. Just you wait. I will link her videos below so that you can go check her out before you watch our collab video because I promise you it's going to be so lit. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other tips on how to stop talking about your past all the time, then you can comment them below. You can, like, text me and tell me some ideas that maybe I missed write me a letter or message me on Facebook or Snapchat me or do anything you want. I just love having friends. That's all I have for this video. Expect more to come. Have a Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you before then. And Happy uh, Holidays. See you next time. See you next time. See you next time. Oh my gosh. Sorry. See you next time.